learn a little bit more about a net logo and a hurdle by implementing uh, a little flocking uh, model. So I'm just gonna add some buttons here. My go buttons and my setup buttons. You usually have to do this for all your models. Um, go forever. So order those, put them over here. And then we're gonna write the code for those. So to set up, oops. to set up, we usually want that to clear all and reset ticks and create turtles to say one for now and and the go method oops it doesn't do anything yet so we can now uh, go back to the interface set up and uh well, go doesn't do anything so what we want is uh first we're gonna well we're gonna need a bunch of these dice so we're gonna need a slider we want a flock of um, birds so we're gonna need num, let's call them turtles. Number of turtles, minimum, maximum 100, uh, 50, sure, whatever. And uh, we can go back to the code here and create turtles. Instead of one, we say num turtles. And uh, on the go, we're gonna just ask turtles to say forward one. And then let's see if this works. So I set it up. All the turtles are there. I go and they all go one, 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 and the world wraps around. So they do that. Um, okay, that's nice. So you see, uh, you know, doing something for one turtle versus 50 versus whatever, it doesn't matter. Because when I ask turtles, I ask all the turtles, right? So, I, and it uh, doesn't matter how many I created, I'm asking all of them to go forward one. Okay, so. And to do something like flocking, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, to start with, uh, we want, we're going to pretend these are birds, and uh, we're going to say, well, a bird, instead of just going forward every time, he's going to, you know, let's say, to start with, we'll have the, every everybody look for the nearest other turtle, and kind of, like, you know, turn uh, slightly towards him. Uh, not entirely, because then, you know, everybody... Uh, you know, that would mean like this guy would do a 180 degree right away, which is unrealistic. So maybe he can turn a little bit towards this guy, his, his closest neighbor. And uh, okay, what if everybody did that? What if everybody turned to his closest neighbor, you know, a little bit? Uh, what would happen? Okay, so how do I implement that? Well, it would be here, right? So in my go. I'm gonna ask the turtles uh, to before they move forward, they they're gonna to need to set their heading and uh, set heading to what? Uh, well, towards the nearest turtle. So towards it turns out is actually a primitive in NetLogo. So let's let me show you here in the NetLogo dictionary. If you when you're in NetLogo and you go to the help menu and you click on the dictionary. It'll bring up this dictionary, uh, well, the whole documentation here. And the dictionary is uh, something you need to have up when you're programming because it has all the primitives and there's a lot of them. And uh, they do very, very powerful stuff. So that this is what's nice. So let's look at the towards, um, ST, towards uh, agent, right? Reports the heading from this agent to the given agent, right? So if I do something like set the, this turtle's heading to be towards turtle one, that means that this turtle, the color, is gonna set its heading to point towards the other turtle. And uh, there's towards x one. So so yeah, I, but the thing is now I need the uh, closest turtle. Mm. So who is that turtle? Well, we have to set that turtle. So go back to the dictionary and uh, here and try to look for primitives. So what you want to do is you know you want to read all these, uh, see what all of them do, and kind of try to remember them. Uh, so there's stuff 
like uh, min one of right there's min one of right here if you see that one min one of agent set reporter that says reports a random agent in this agent set that reports the lowest value for the given reporter right so that might be useful right we can say the min one of turtles so and then of these turtles which one has the min value of x core y core so which one is closest to zero zero uh, if it was all positive. Uh, that's what this one's going to return. Um, and then there's another one that we're going to need. So we're going to need to know the distance from this turtle to another one, right? Uh, so we have this distance right here. Distance to agent reports the distance from this agent to the given turtle or patch. So, for example, here I can say, ask the turtles to show me uh, the max one of, so of all the turtles, the distance from that turtle to myself and print that out. So you see, this is, uh, this is pretty much what we need. Now, this added this other, this myself variable. Um, so, okay, I'm just going to show you, we're going to say, let the closest, turtle so the let is an assignment right so we're going to i'm going to define a new variable called closest turtle and i'm going to give it a value and uh it's going to be the min one of then the distance oops i have to put brackets there right min one of uh and then i'm going to give it the set of all the turtles which was which one has the min the the smallest distance to myself? So I and understand this gets a little bit confusing, right? So I'm asking all turtles. So within this bracket, right? Uh, this is you know a turtle does this thing. A turtle uh, is doing all these things, right? Because I'm asking the turtles to do these things. So all these things are being done by a turtle. And uh, we're going to call this turtle myself. So here, the first thing this turtle does is let, let sets this variable, closest turtle, to be the smallest one of all the turtles. Um, you know, so the distance from eight, any one of the turtles to myself. And... Uh, and he's going to find the smallest one of those and it's going to report that turtle and that's going to be the closest turtle. So this kind of works, right? But there's one little bug here is that, is that well, what if uh, all the turtles includes me, right? Myself. So really every time the, the closest turtle is going to be myself. Uh, so actually what you want to do is say other. Right, so I put parentheses here. You can always put parentheses to make things clearer. So the min one of of from the set of all the other turtles, right? So other uh, just it returns the set of everybody else's but me. So in this case, it takes all turtles and removes myself from there. Um, and uh, that's it. So, and this one is actually going to, so it's then going to set its heading towards the closest turtle. So it's actually going to set it completely. So if we do something like this, then this is going to be a problem uh, because uh, we cannot set a heading towards uh, my, the same point. So if I am zero, 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 and I try to set my heading towards zero, zero, that's not going to work. So let's set x, y to random x score, random y core. So what I'm doing here, when I create the turtles, I give them a random location. So there it is. So when I hit go, now everybody set their direction to the closest turtle, and they move forward. I hit go again. They did that again. And uh, this is pretty interesting, they're pairing up. And if we keep doing this, see we're doing this low, so you can see. 
Uh, it doesn't look quite like flocking, right? But, uh, let's speed it up a little bit. You see they kind of form pairs, and you can probably imagine why, right? Uh, so, okay, let's fix that. So what's happening is now we're setting the her the the heading towards the closest turtle fully. So I'm not uh, taking into account what my heading is. Now, so this is going to be a bit tricky. So right now the turtle has a heading, and uh, towards closest turtle returns the heading the turtle should be in. Um, if he was to point to the closest turtle. So what we want though, is we want to change this heading to not be exactly this, but go to the, towards that. Again, we go back to our dictionary here. And uh, there's some stuff here on headings, right? So there's subtract headings, which is uh, very useful. So subtract heading, heading one, heading two, compute the difference between the given headings. Uh, there is a number of degrees in the smallest angle. So if you subtract 80 minus 60, you get 20 degrees difference. And 360 from 80, you get minus 20. And uh, it's just, you know, we're just subtracting. But uh, when you do stuff like, you know, 5 and 355, you get 10. Uh, because it's a circle, right? 360 degrees. So the difference in the angle is 10. So that, that's very useful. We don't have to worry about going across from 0 to 360. We have a full circle. So we can do that. We can subtract the heading. So we can uh, uh, let difference, I'm going to say difference, subtract headings. And I'm going to subtract you know, my current heading from this one, the towards closest turtle and that's going to give me the difference uh, that I would have to add to my heading so if I did this uh, set heading to be heading plus difference I would just be again pointing directly to the turtle the other turtle let's test that because I'm not sure uh, yes I think so Yeah. Um, so, but um, so I don't want that whole thing. So let's say we just want to go, you know, ten percent of the way. So we multiply that. So the uh, heading plus the difference. Well, plus zero point one or ten percent of the difference. So I only want to go a little bit towards him. Ten percent of the way. So I do that, set up, and go. You see now it's a little bit different. They're not really forming those things, uh, those the pairs. Interesting. So uh, let's uh, let's add a slider to control that guy. We'll go. We we'll call that the uh, um, attraction. And this is going to be a number between zero and one, or increments of. 0 0.01 uh, initially a value of point 0.1 so point 0.1 is the attraction place that with the attraction and uh, I'm gonna ask patches to set patch color to white because I like the white background better. Set up and go. So there they are, and now they're moving. And if we change the attraction, if we increase that, they you know, increase it more. They're going to form the pairs that we saw before pairing up. If we decrease it, then each one is going to tend basically to be less attracted to the other guys and more keep its own momentum forward. So we're going to get something more like this. Uh, oop, too fast. It's not quite flocking because uh, we're only, you know, pointing towards the closest other person, other bird, right? So 
what you would want to do really is point to, you know, not just the closest one, uh, but find, you know, say the closest three of them and then point towards their center of mass, right? So somewhere in between those three guys, uh, what's the closest, what, what's the point in between? And, uh, but that would, uh, that would take a little bit more doing. And um, so you can do that as an exercise.